Hey guys, how's it going? Manakido back once again, this time with the infectious madness of Dr. Decker. This one goes out especially to John Harvey, who loves the FMVs. So, yeah, I did this especially for you. But no, seriously, this, this game comes out today. It's one me and Gamer Guy have been really looking forward to, so... Yeah, Frankel, let's get into I've it. gone loopy, like some kind of spongy Mobius strip. That's why I'm here, isn't it, Dr. Decker? I can see people's dreams. I've uh, set up an experiment. My dad is trying to hurt me. Quantum suicide. Have you heard of it? If I concentrate hard enough, and I know when the person's going to be asleep, I can have the dream with them. Well, let's call him God. He creates this world for his amusement, something he can play with and occasionally alter to suit his mood. It feels like the paintings are watching me. Sometimes, when I walk through a door, it takes me somewhere else. Literally, somewhere else. God loves chaos, but something goes wrong. Man and woman evolve. What was once chaotic becomes well, more ordered. It starts as a door-to-door -door saleswoman. Double glazing, probably. Dr. Decker, I think we both know what you dreamed about last night. I've seen its silhouette changing through the window. Because he thinks I'm evil. Because I can see things other people can't. On the basis, the central component of our universe is chaos. Science can only document a perception of the chaos at any one given moment in time. I did what you said, Doctor. They arrested me. Which means that at any given moment, we can choose to alter our perception of the world, no matter how much chaos that would cause. I thought you were supposed to fix me. I'm telling you, it's eating people, and you're just laughing. You're insane, Doctor. Listen to me, you're not listening. It's your only bloody job. So yeah, I don't want to show too much of this game, it's quick Doctor, taste, you know. You're late. And after all those promises, never mind, Doctor, let's not keep the patient. You're late. And after all those Doctor, promises. Doctor, you're late. Doctor, you're and after late. All those, and after all those promises, never mind. So yeah, um, I'm not going to show too much, but just enough so you know what this game is like, I... If you do enjoy it, add it to your wish list. Something. All the links will be down Doctor, below. You're late, and after all those promises, mm, never mind. Let's not keep the patients waiting. And if you want anything, just oh, sorry, I forgot. I'm not going to be here. The police still have some questions they want to ask about, you know. And then after that, I'm dropping in to see Ben. He's still in shock, and I thought we'd show we cared. We do still care, don't we, Doctor? Good. Anyway, I hope you're all caught up on Dr. Decker's tapes. I think Mariana is in first, but I'm sure they'll all become a blur by the end of the day. I'll see you later, or tomorrow. Uh, probably tomorrow. I'll leave it to you then. So this is a pretty unique FMV game. I kind of enjoyed what I played and this here is giving you the instructions on you know red means you have more questions amber means you're not you're, you're done and then green probably you shouldn't should do an axe that they skipped them <laughs> whoops so we're just gonna get in, introduced to the first five we're not gonna delve too deep into this game to avoid spoilers and all that but talking of spoilers they actually there's a the, the person I guess well, the game is basically different each time. I, I would say the the suspect, no, the main killer, I guess. Or something I'm like Bryce that. Hemmings. So, yeah. You must be the new doctor. So you see in the top, you type you hello know, and, and you can type anything you want to. That doesn't mean anything to me. You just asked me, did I know him? I said no. So yeah, just got a little. Look around the interface. 
So yeah, this is just about questioning them and, you know, making deductions and it's really, really cool. I can't help you there. Of course, I'm going to use hints. I'm a grave digger, Doctor. And people are dying quicker than we can bury them. Oh no, Bryce. Oh no. No, I heard this game got a lot of content to it as well, so yeah. Comes out, I think it's £7.99, £7.99. But just double check and know. use and show more below and I'll give you all the info you need. You know, the first suspect was kind of uh No, sorry. I was just getting used to the ropes here, so forgive me. Dr. Decker would say one thing and do another. He would push me to do things I didn't want to do. He was getting worse towards the end. I'm surprised he didn't kill himself. I'm pro-cremation. Not just because I don't have to dig a grave. They still need a hole for the interment of ashes. It's more dignified. Like you're becoming one with the universe again. Rotting in a wooden box. Even if you turn completely into atoms, how would you escape? Even bits of the universe get lonely, I'd imagine. And we're streaming a lot of FMVs this week on our Twitch, you know, twitch.tv forward slash the hidden levels. Everything's slash the hidden levels, so if you're new here, you might as well check it out. We're mostly streaming towards the That's lifetime. Meaningless to me. And, you know, yeah. The FMV size, but we do stream all day. Every day, pretty Sorry, much. I don't know anything about that. Is that something I should know about? Probably, as you just asked me. But, okay, whatever. Let's uh, go and meet Claire. Ah, hello, Claire. My name is Claire Castleford, and as I'm paying a small fortune for these sessions, I'd expect you to be up to speed, Doctor. She's the, the bitchy one. Sorry. I don't know. I just asked, how are you? What is your problem? Well... According to your predecessor, I'm a delusional psychotic with obsessive tendencies. Oh, and a history of violence. <laughs> Sounds so cold when you put it like that, though, doesn't it? Tell me more about your violence. I stabbed him with a steak knife. Shocking, isn't it? I suppose after what I did, there are people that might think I belonged in prison. What do you think, Doctor? Can I be saved with therapy, or should I be locked up like a dangerous criminal? You should be locked up and thrown away. That's disappointing. No. Don't you want to try to make me better? At least Dr. Decker gave it a shot in his own way. I don't know anything about that, Doctor. Hmm, this is making my brain tick. Tick. It was a brief moment of temporary insanity. Or temporary clarity, I'm not really sure which. David had been having an affair with his assistant optician, Iris. How predictable. Not just the affair, but an optician named Iris. She wins me back some points there. I mean, come on, that is pretty, you know, like, they go with an achievement into it. Yeah, the game comes with lots of achievements too, for all you people who like achievements. Please tell me about your obsessive tendencies. With my husband. It's absurd, really. Oh, we got another achievement as well. There we go, look at that, they're popping. Like THL's videos. Because he is here. Wait, what? And he shouldn't be. So as you see, it picks up certain keywords, so you can ask anything, but I think just then, I, it was probably the, the keyword husband or something. Hello, Doctor. It's nice to meet you. Oh, she's the over, overly friendly one. What's your problem, bitch? <laughs> okay, what's your problem? I started seeing Dr. Decker a few months ago. 
I thought it would be nice to have someone I could talk to about work. It can get a bit stressful sometimes. I work in a nursing home for the elderly. I basically do end of life care. I feel really bad I can't answer your questions. Um, I like animals. Oh. Let's talk about that. Yeah, she's the overly friendly one who just plays pretty dumb. But I think inside she has an ulterior motive. I love animals. Especially cats. Okay, then when she's cool, she likes cats. I think everyone is either a cat person or a dog person. What are you, Doctor? <laughs> I am a cat. Yay, me too. I have a cat called Church. He's adorable. Winston. Churchill. Anyway, so check out Mariana. Hello, sa I have whoa, whoa, no whoa, idea whoa, about whoa. Hello there. I'm Mariana. Are you feeling okay? Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm just, uh, you know, you just got me off guard with the boobs. That doesn't mean anything to me. <laughs> no, okay then. How are you doing? I think you're supposed to tell me what's wrong with me. Isn't that how it works? The police keep picking me up for public nudity. Whoa, 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 whoa. I black out. And then the next thing I remember, I'm naked on the beach, like I've been washed up on shore. Nobody's pressed charges yet, but I can feel it. The police are getting suspicious. I want to be at that beach. Can I see? <laughs> I don't know. But she didn't say no, right? <laughs> oh, it's only me who do this. Let's go. Let's move on now. For I cry all the time. Hello, Nathan. I'm Nathan Peel. I'm a supermarket worker from, well, hell, really. I imagine what I'm experiencing now might be a type of hell. Not everyone burns in flames with the devil on their back. I'm hoping you can make sense of my problem. It's like those montages you get in movies. Time passes, you wake up, shave, if you feel like it, shower, get dressed, what's the point? You get this day over and over, nothing changes. Stop making life depressing. Poetry, doctor. You are a fool in, no, you know. You guys are not. Because I'm stuck between this day and the next. Most of the time, anyway. No, 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 stop making life depressing. Sorry, I've got nothing. Oh, come on. Let's go back to uh, my favourite bay. Look at that, I, I didn't realise there's actually notes so you can uh, check down there. See, Mariana has blackouts. This one will, will come in very, very interest, uh, very, very helpful. I black out, I mean, I don't really remember anything from the time I black out. I'm lucky to be alive, I guess. You see, we can pick out probably keywords from these, so... Did you have any that injuries? doesn't really mean anything no? to me. Okay, what about injuries? No, nothing like that. I usually wake up on my side, like I've been sleeping. Sometimes I'm partially covered by sea. Mm. I'm sorry, my mind was drifting. Are you a mermaid? No, I don't know about that. No? Oh, okay then. Tell me more about that nope. necklace. No? Nope. Don't know. I cry. All the time. Uh, I think that's me done for now. I don't want to show or give away too much away, but I just want to give you, you know, just a general idea of what the game is. It's the infectious madness of Dr. Decker. For everything you need to know, just click show below. Thank you for watching this short preview. Ah. Uh,
That's not really helpful. Well, actually, she didn't helps. understand. But yeah, so thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Give it a thumbs down if you didn't. And um, yeah, I hope to see you again soon. Thanks, guys, again for all your love and support, always, and yada yada. Oh, yeah. If you enjoyed this video, to the top left there will be a playlist of more content from our channel. To the bottom left there will be my previous video on the hidden levels. And of course to the top right there will be our logo which you can click subscribe. And to the bottom right is our Patreon to help support us and create more videos for our channel daily. Thank you guys and have a good one.